apartment complex. Good afternoon, I'm David Scott. That blaze broke out around 5 o'clock this morning at the Bainbridge Apartments on South Ridge Drive. The fire causing almost a million dollars in structural damage, not to mention what all the residents lost. The XAM's Jacqueline and Glaze joining us live from the scene. And Jackie, any word what caused this? David, although a few residents say they heard a popping noise coming from the second floor and thought fireworks could be behind this blaze, a cause has not yet been determined, but you don't need a cause, David, to see the destruction this fire has left in its wake. Take a look right here behind this fence. You can see a pile of personal items that have basically just been turned to ash. You've got books over on your far right-hand side, the shell of a guitar case. Even burnt baseball cards are littering this front yard. And you've got everything out here right down to charred clothes left on the hangers. A roaring early morning fire is leaving Hurricane Katrina survivor Leslie Hypowite facing a new disaster. His family's apartment is now rubble. I'm still just pinching myself. Did it really happen? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Hypolite is one of 44 residents displaced by the fire that ripped through Bainbridge Villa Apartments in South Austin. He got out his front door, but his wife and family had to break out a window and jump from the second floor to safety. Ooh, that was scary because I was, I was the only one outside at the time, so I just was calling help. Other residents who awoke to what they're calling popping noises coming from the second floor tried to grab personal items, but two alarm fire flames were moving too fast, and they didn't have time. I saw it out the bedroom window. My little dog was starting to bark, and I looked out the window, and the, the breezeway was, it was on fire up on top, and then it came down, and it was like going like this. Five people were injured, some with broken bones from jumping out windows, but thanks to one resident knocking on doors telling people to get out, no one died. And my daughter saved four people from the back of the upstairs. Uh, they couldn't jump. They were scared to jump, and she helped them come down. A few of the residents who live here say things could have been a lot worse, and they're grateful no one died. Meanwhile, Barrera's daughter, who some are calling a hero, is recovering from smoke inhalation at an area hospital. Live in South Austin, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN, Austin News. Well, that's something. Investigators still working to find the cause. The American Red Cross is now helping all 44 victims find shelter. Well, new at 5, a